First question came from my guy Jason Who's been a Team Keep It Clean patron for 12 days So I appreciate you Jason He said I have a question for you Do you think the whole running backs not getting paid dilemma Is the Ravens fault Oof. So the market for running backs is Are the Ravens to blame Let's see what he had to say uh, The Ravens led the league Almost every single season with rushing yards And we do it with three backs and a quarterback We find guys off the street and undrafted And they produce annually Has this opened other teams eyes and saying They don't need a first or second round at running back Or need to sign a high priced running back Like Barkley or Elliott etc It's crazy the Ravens have had Alex Collins, Terrence West, uh, Buck Allen, Justin Forsett, Gus Edwards, Mark Ingram, Latavius Murray, Devontae Freeman, Le'Veon Bell, and had success with nearly all of them. Did the Ravens kill the running back Bell Cow? Ooh, that is a really, really good question. For real. Now, and initially, when I read the first part, is it the Ravens' fault for the, the running back market being where it is right now? Initially, I would think, no, it's just the market. The market is the market, but... When you put it like that, <laughs> I guess Ravens can be to blame for some of that because, yeah, like you explained, the Ravens, been they've been doing this. They've been doing this with running backs and whatnot, bringing different guys in, and, yeah, like you mentioned, having success with them. Like, really? And that's something right there. And, and it ain't just all been high draft picks. Like, obviously – J.K. Dobbins was a high draft pick, his second round pick. Ray Rice was a second round pick. But Ravens ain't been like throwing no high draft picks at running backs like that. I mean, the next highest was what? Uh, Justice Hill. He was a fourth round pick. But Gus Edwards almost had a stack, almost had a thousand yards. Justin Forsett, he got over to Alex Collins. Uh, like, the, the, and then other guys that you named on the list have been significant contributors to Mark Ingram. Uh, and he. Well, he he. When did he get drafted? I don't even remember what draft pick he was, but he was a more like kind of high profile name, a uh, respected name around the league when when the Ravens signed him. Um, but the Ravens they they've been doing it. They'll bring guys in and they'll they'll get production out of them, and it's a beautiful thing. And then I think we've almost um feel like maybe we as fans we may almost take that for granted a bit. Like we 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 might because. There'd be a lot of times when Ravens may bring in somebody, uh, and we could be thinking, oh, who is that? Where they come from? And then, boom, they just they end up going off. I know that for sure happened with me with uh, Alex Collins for sure. When they got him from the Seahawks, I think they signed him from the practice squad from the Seahawks. I was like, Alex Collins, uh, I don't know anything about him. Well, let's see. Then this dude, river dancing in the end zone every week. I'm like, okay, let's go. And then um, Gus Edwards. Gus Edwards, when they signed him, I thought that uh, I thought that uh, Mark Thompson that same year. I thought he was gonna make the roster over Gus Edwards, but they, they went with Gus Edwards. I was like, oh, okay, let's see. And boom, Gus Edwards been balling ever since when he plays. So yeah, Ra Ravens got something. They got something, and um, I do think that especially because when people think about Ravens, they think about their offense. The first thing they think about is their rushing offense. Well, most of the time. But the first thing they think about is their rushing. Well, the first thing they think about is Lamar. Then the next thing they think about is their rushing offense. Like, oh boy, them Ravens, they can run that ball. But then you talk about, hey, well, who's their lead back? Then you got everybody looking around. Uh, uh, and some may want to say J.K. Dobbins, but it's really not J.K. Dobbins. It's really who, whoever's back there, whoever's getting the ball. So, yeah, I, I do think the Ravens, they, they share some of the blame in the running back market being – what the running back market is, especially it's too because they haven't really paid out significant money. And then, I mean, you can say that about enough teams, but Ravens haven't really paid significant money to running backs since Ray Rice. Since Ray Rice, they, they just really have been dishing out money like that. They gave Mark Ingram a three year, five mil, I mean, $15 million deal, so five mil per. They gave Gus Edwards before they reworked it this offseason, they gave Gus Edwards a, the same deal, like a three year, five million, three year, $15 million deal. I mean, excuse me. So, like, that's they ain't been paying no big money to running backs like that. So, yeah, they, they definitely share some of the blame. Not all of it, but a good little portion. Because, you know, the league be watching, teams be watching, and they see stuff. It, it's, it's, they always say it's a copycat league. They see, oh, Ravens brought in that guy, and he, he did work like that. Oh, they brought in him, and he worked like that. Oh, man, okay, we can do the same thing because it's cheaper. But he also said, thanks for reading. Hope you have a wonderful season. Good luck and good things coming to good people. I have a feeling you are going to be seeing a lot of good things sooner 
then later. Hey, I hope so, Jason. I, I appreciate that a lot, though, man. I um, there have been some times, and I don't mean to like get sidetracked a bit, but um, <sighs> there have been sometimes, and sometimes it happens. Uh, and it's just my own maybe getting in my own head, just be thinking about stuff. Sometimes I be thinking like, man, um, I wonder when, like, when stuff is really gonna start happening. That that's on my own because I y'all know I I appreciate it when other people be looking at because other people look out big time. They they look out big time, but um, sometimes I just be wondering like, huh, when is it gonna be something that's me? Uh, but I try not to dwell on that too much because I, I am I am grateful. Don't 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 think I ain't grateful for. Just where the channel is And again, it's still a small channel uh, But I am very grateful for everybody that's a part of them Grateful for all of y'all Grateful for just uh, Team Keep It Clean as a whole Friends, family So many people that we done met uh, over the years So many people that done supported over the years Some new supporters, old support, everything Because uh, it makes a big difference It makes a huge, huge, huge difference um, But sometimes I just be wondering Like, man, I, I, I be looking around I be seeing stuff Like, man, like when, when is something gonna pop off for us um but again i try not to get in that thinking too much um because i don't really think it's really healthy like and and again i, I just i don't want to and i know it, it, it sounds ungrateful i think saying it out loud it sounds ungrateful but i don't mean for it to sound ungrateful um but i just i just want to be like just want to be super uh Super real with y'all and just super uh, transparent. Transparent. Um, so that, that's what be going through my head sometimes. Like, man, I be just looking around like, hey, well, like, how, how, come, I, how come I ain't never get to do that? Or I ain't never get to do this? Or da, 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 da. And so we working. We trying. But um, whatever going to happen, going to happen. And whenever it's going to happen, that's when it'll be. And if something is going to happen, cool. If something's not going to happen, that's cool, too. Um, I'm appreciative of everything and everybody that everything that has happened um, for sure because again it's like none of this none of all of this is just me alone it's us like for it, it's, it's, it's us um, this team keep it clean um, just so many great people uh, who just really really look out they really really look out um, when, when people like, when people like consider you for stuff, you got to appreciate that, man. You really got to. When people are willing to invite you into their space, you got to be super appreciative of that. Because they ain't got to do that. Ain't nobody got to do that. They ain't got to be on that. They be like, nah, I'm doing this for myself. I'm keeping this for myself. It's only going to be me. Da, da, da. And there's some people that do that. And that's fine. But there's other people that like... When when they like willing to have us with them or on whatever it is, I appreciate that a lot, man. And and people have done that. They're going way out of their way. So thank you to y'all. Thank you for sure, man. Um, but yeah, I just I I appreciate that. I appreciate this. I appreciate that comment at the end of your question, Jason. So so thank you very very much for that, man. Next question. I know we got a little sidetrack with that last one. Came from my guy uh, Harold, who's been a patron for ten days. So appreciate it, Harold. He said, "What's up, Engraving? How's it going? Hope you and the family are well. We're doing pretty good, man. I appreciate it. Uh, sorry, I've been away from the team. Keep it clean, family. I've been so busy at work in the oil field here in Texas. Hey, get that bread, man. Get that bread. And you working in the oil field? So I know you getting bread for real. But anyway, he said, "Just wanted to ask: Are we completely out of the hunt for DeAndre Hopkins? Thanks for taking the question, and take care, brother. Appreciate it." Um, like what? <laughs> completely out the hunt? I, I would, I would not say yes, but it's highly unlikely. Cause you know the Ravens are very loaded at wide receiver, and I mean, y'all, y'all know me, I wouldn't mind them adding more at all. But I cannot say that the Ravens are completely out the hunt until DeAndre Hopkins is actually signed by somebody. So, I mean, and people could say, oh, Ravens aren't interested. Ravens ain't checking for DeAndre Hopkins. Ravens don't want to, they don't want DeAndre Hopkins. Da, 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 da. But until he's officially signed by somebody, you, you can't say anybody's out. Well, except for the Cardinals. But besides the Cardinals, then it's like, no, nah, I like, no. Nah. I, so I, I, I would not say that they are completely out of the hunt for DeAndre Hopkins. While it may not be likely 
there's still a small, small chance. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like got to made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean.